Hello, Paul McFadden here. So I've recorded over the last few days the whole idea of the power of leverage. How to leverage money, how to leverage time, and how to leverage people. Now I thought I'm going to record an extra video right now on the whole topic of leverage where we can talk about leveraging our power team. In your property journey, you're going to have to be surrounded with some great people such as a mortgage broker, conveyancing solicitors, accountants and tax advisors, builders, letting agents, estate agents. I mean, there's many people that will be part of and form your power team. These are people who will take care of certain property services and certain property transactions that's required. And, you know, they're going to be someone that you're going to be speaking to on a regular basis once you really get going on your property journey. Now, one of the things I did very well in the early days of my property journey, which was great for me because it was a form of cash flow and effectively I was leveraging other people to make money and also leveraging my time. So the all three things we spoke about, leveraging money, leveraging time, leveraging people, can really be pulled into what I'm about to discuss right now. So in the early days for me and my property journey, I would go to property networking events. And when I went to these networking events, I started to build up my power team. I met several different brokers, solicitors, letting agents, estate agents. I met lots of different people in the property profession. And I would keep in touch with them and go and meet them for coffee or for lunch and have a good conversation chat around business and sharing my vision, what I was going to do and what I was up to and listening to theirs as well. And I formed some great relationships with many different people. And what I realized was, is that they would pay me a commission, a referral fee for basically recommending their services. So think about it, you've got like one of the biggest uh, breakfast networking clubs is BNI. And that whole concept is, is that in the mornings you go to a networking event and in that room, there's gonna be one of each profession in different industries and the idea is, is that one person at every meeting gets a chance to talk about the products and service and what they do, but the whole ethos is everyone has a quick check-in and people get to know one another so people knows who's the resident plumber or who the resident broker is or who the resident, whatever it may be, whatever profession. And the whole idea of BNI is that you go to these BNI meetings weekly to then pass business. So you don't just go there empty handed, you go there to recommend business. Now whether there's commissions and referral fees structured or not, it's a different story, because some of them just do for reciprocation. Uh, let me give you business and I'll get business back. That's kind of how it works. But when it comes to a cash flow strategy, and for me in the early days of my property journey, what's really helped me was getting paid commissions. So I went to my mortgage broker and I said, hey, look, if I find any other people who's interested in getting a mortgage, whether it's for their own home, a residential mortgage, or whether it's another investor who's looking for um, a mortgage broker, see if I pass them to you, will you pay me a commission? And every time they would always say, absolutely. If I get a bit of business there and it comes to something, I'm happy to pay you a commission. And then I would go to my solicitor and say the same thing to him. i say, look, if I get other um, people interested in selling their home or buying a home and they're looking for a solicitor, if I recommend them to you, will you pay me a commission? Absolutely. Same goes with my letting agent. Same goes with an estate agent. Hey, if I find a property, you know, that um, doesn't fit for me and it's a property to go on the market and if I pass it over to you and if you list that and put it on the market and sell, would you pay me a commission? Of course. Now, this is important for you to really get to know because in the early days for me, my property journey, the commissions I was making for just referring business to my power team was a couple of thousand pounds a month. And a couple of thousand pounds a month is great business. That's great income. That potentially, depending on how much that you actually you know, put out your power team to other people, you could actually replace your income. Even if it was only making you 500 quid a month, a thousand pounds a month. The average commission you want to structure, I'm talking about the average and it should really be the minimum if I'm being honest, is 250 pounds per person. So that's 250 pounds from your mortgage broker, from your solicitor, from your letting agent, estate agent, you know, your tax advisor. You know, it's up to you to what you negotiate with each of people in your power team to get the best commission 
for you and what they're prepared to pay themselves. Normally 250 pounds is the kind of going rate. So if you think about it, if you put yourself out there on social media and let people know that you're getting involved in property, or maybe you're involved in property and you don't even do this yourself right now. So if you're involved in property, let people know more that you've got a great mortgage broker who's looking for some business, or you've got a great mortgage broker who can help at this point just now, or the mortgage broker shares with you some new products that come in the market, 95% loan to value, residential mortgages. You could write up a little post about that, put it on your social media platforms, and hey, you might get a few people reaching out, and if they reach out, you can pass them on to the mortgage broker, and if they write some business there, every month, you could be making a couple hundred pounds. Let's say you get four bits of business from your broker, and it's 250 pounds commission per transaction. There's a thousand pounds for just referring someone else. They're doing the work, leveraging other people to get paid, and guess what? It involves very little of your time because your time, all you're doing is just putting it out to the marketplace, putting it out to your contacts, people that you know, letting them know that you're involved in property, letting them know that you've got brokers and solicitors, and hey, even your builder. Think about it. Like, you know, your builder could have just completed a whole renovation in a kitchen, brand new kitchen and you can get the before and after pictures from the builder, post them on your social media, or let other people know, and, and again, your own refurbs when you start doing them, and you put them out in social media, you will, without a shadow of a doubt, have people reaching out to you and saying, hey, can you put me in touch with your, your builder or your kitchen fitter, and you know, that, that's stunning, I'd love that to get done to my house, how much was it? They're asking all these questions, and what you can do is say, hey, let me put you in touch with my guy or my, my builder. He'll be able to come out, he'll be able to work with you, he's gonna be able to you know, get you the best possible price and get you the same kind of finish that I've got. And before you know it, once they take on that business, normally the going rate when it comes to working with a builder is 10% of the quote and the invoice. So if that ends up being a 7,000 pounds kitchen, you're gonna be getting a minimum of 10%, which is 700 quid, just for referring a builder or a kitchen fitter in this example to someone who's looking to get their kitchen fitted and changed, you know? And then you're gonna see other investors reaching out to you because maybe they want to change builders or they've been doing some of the work themselves and they want to outsource it now and they love what you're doing and then you're basically, you know, leveraging your builder to go and work on someone else's project and you're gonna get paid a commission for this. You've got to think about you know, how you can add this into what you're already doing if you're already involved in property. If not, this is gonna be a great strategy for you to get started in your property journey because you're meeting great people involved in the whole property game and you're putting them out there, getting commissions, getting referral fees coming in while you're getting going in your property journey to do your first deal or whatever that may be. The truth of the matter is, you need all of these people in your power team anyway so why not leverage them by putting them out to your network and getting paid for doing it? Even tax advisors and stuff as well will pay you commission because right now tax is a big topic, especially when it comes to the property game and getting the right specialist advice and tax knowledge on this is important. So let's start to look at everybody that you interact with. It, it, could, be, it could extend more than just the property industry. It could be anybody that you know. Hey, we've got a media company and we pay commissions when we get media clients who are looking for websites or looking for brand building and stuff. Every business that you know pays referral fees and commissions. So it's almost creating a Rolodex of different people within your power team, different business owners you know, different industries, and always recommending them out as and when you can. And by doing so, make sure you've got a referral scheme in place to make sure you're getting paid commissions for referring business. In fact, while everything's so turbulent right now, what better thing to do than to support local businesses and other people as well by giving referrals out and letting them know that, that you can recommend someone and a good recommendation is much better than finding someone who they don't know and trying to figure out whether they're gonna be a good fit for them or not. A powerful recommendation goes a long way. and More importantly, you can get paid for it as well. So let's start looking at who you can bring into your power team, who you can start leveraging to make more money as you go forward. Until tomorrow, all the best and bye for now.